your boy Young Dro. It's your boy Trans Lee. This kid Lil J. Tokyo Jets. Play the two. D Rossi and I'm here with Hot New Hip Hop. Hot New Hip Hop. Hot New Hip Hop. Hot New Hip Hop. The Hot New Hip Hop right now. Yeah, we're on tour, man, and <clears throat> it's been going really good. Um, sold out shows, man. Having a lot of fun out on the road, man. The gang is all there. You know what I mean? Um, it's fun. It's fun. You know, very interesting. It's amazing, man. It's a, it's a definitely experience, um, especially when you you have so many different vibes and so much different energy amongst each other. You know what I'm saying? As, as a family and as a whole, so it's fun. Very interesting, though. Man, it's dope. It's dope. Uh, this is like my first like nationwide tour. I've done like a smaller tour with my team like a couple years ago where we hit like a few schools, but this is my first tour where we're actually going city to city and I'm hitting cities I've never been before. Um, so it's dope. It's a learning experience. So shout out to Tip and the whole Hustle Gang team for allowing me to be a part of this process because you don't get this every day. You know what I'm saying? Everything is dope so far. Um, I'm the only girl, so I kind of like, they call me Cruella DeVille. <laughs> But I have to like keep structure amongst everybody, so it's dope so far though. We've done a lot of sold out shows and I'm meeting a lot of new people. You know, so if you've ever been before, then you know what it's like. And if you haven't been before, then tour is, it's fun, but it's a lot of the same fun. You know what I'm saying? Like everything is the same fun, so you actually know how to have fun every day. You ain't got to worry about trying to figure out what you're going to do from day to day, from night to night. Like you know it's something going to be going on, so. It's a big family occasion going on, everybody, it's a lot of love. I'm learning a lot too. Craziest tour story, um, somebody farted on the tour bus and I didn't know who it was. <laughs> and you know, and everybody was dressed nice, so it was kind of hard to pick out who it was. I was like, you know what I'm saying? So, and whoever did it, it smelled like smoke pig. <laughs> In DC, she hit me, um, and she will remain nameless. But she hit me and wanted to come to the show, so I, of course, got her in the show, got her backstage, and we're backstage kicking it. And all of a sudden, she starts, like, convulsing and, like, starts, like, shaking, and, like, her friend has to hold her up because she's, like, literally about to fall, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's, you know what I'm saying? I, she's probably drinking or whatever. I don't know what was going on, but literally, I thought she was about to die. And so, like, my homie had to pick her up and carry her and lay her down on the sofa. And, like, literally, right whenever she lay down, she, like, opened her eyes and started, like, laughing. Like, <laughs> like, nah, you got to go now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, somebody faked the seizure. They was like, oh, oh, oh. we was like, stop. She was like, ah. <laughs> and that was, t I was scared. Then I was like, that's messed up. You probably going to go to hell for that. All of them crazy. <laughs> But it's like Tip got the worst fans. They they do the most to try to get behind the barricade. And then when they get past security, it's still me though. They think I'm like one of them. No, I'm not. Y'all can't come back here. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's something amazing every night. It just depends on what we find funny at the time. We live with the spider monkey on our bus. I already got a specific tour story yet, because we kind of like coming out the first leg of the tour. But on a day to day, it's always something going on because just because of the way we interact with each other, it's like more so like a family situation. So you always get, you always got, like in a family, in any family, like you always got the, the ones that you kind of rough up and bully and like not, not so much as bully, but just the ones you, you pick with and mess with, just because you get a reaction out of them. You know what I'm saying? So like on a day to day, they're probably the funniest. That's the funniest shit in the world, because everybody be tripping. Yeah, we just have, we just have a good time though. Overall, we're having a good time.